first I learned of this hidden gem in Lincolnshire was when I got my first boat six years ago. Despite driving on the road alongside for many years, I had never experienced the difference a few feet can make. Driving alongside a waterway and being on it in a boat can sometimes make it seem you are in a different world. Even standing on the bank will not replicate what at times can almost seem to be a magical experience. Only accessible for a few short weeks of the year, the effort is more than rewarding. From October until April, the water level in the lower Witham is lowered to contain any excess rainwater to prevent flooding. Bottom lock is 1.2 miles upstream at the same level as the Witham, and in a clear flowing stream, weed soon grows when the sun comes out. Also, little used waterways can often prove challenging, with various obstructions in the river. Plastic bags etc. will foul the prop, taking sometimes up to an hour to free, or even worse, rope or netting can get so tightly wound you might have to get a tow home, or resort to a small outboard, if you carry one as I do. This little video is a compilation of three trips I've managed to make, so a few short sections are repeated, in an effort to portray how different a waterway can appear only days apart, or sometimes even on the same day. This is Bottom Lock. This lock was reopened in 1986, but sadly funding has not been found to extend the waterway or electrify the guillotine, for which the gearing was designed for. So 350 turns of the handle to get an arrow boat through, or in my case 600 turns are required for me to pass underneath. This year there are to be a new set of gates plus new and better moorings both above and below. Also, the gearings on the guillotine is to be altered, as it is to remain hand operated. So I felt a small reminder of how it has been for the last 21 years would be a good idea, hence this video. I have tried to give you some sort of experience of taking a boat through this lock, so please bear with it if the process seems a little slow and boring. My first ever trip to the head of the navigation at Cobbler's Lock I took with some friends while I still had my first small boat, and they too agreed it was an almost magical experience. The South Kyme Tower sticking through the trees had turned orange with the setting sun, and seen from the middle of the river made what must be one of the wonders of the world. Sadly on these trips there was no sunshine when I returned, however I'm sure you'll agree it still makes for an impressive and pretty sight. 